Am I am I am I right to say this is gonna be the last recording in that room for you? V yeah. time? Probably, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of V Time, episode 163. Do we have a doozy? Yes, we missed last week because of <clears throat> stuff. Uh, stuff. Stuff. <laughs> and we got a lot to catch up on. Talk about two masks, talk about a couple of other news, talk about BRO, talk about this, talk about that. But more importantly, this fool over here is probably his last V Time in that room. Yeah, this whole stripping. Probably going to be a lot different next time. Oh, yeah. Probably better. Hopefully better. Hopefully better. <laughs> Hopefully better. So we got a whole episode for you. So we're, let's go straight into it and not dilly dally and not go for two hours. Please no. Yes. <laughs> All right. But before that, if you're interested in buying any cards from TCG Player, please use our fill link down below. Your purchases through this link help support the channel so you can bring more creepy videos like this straight to you guys. Right, and with that script part of it, let's go straight into leaks. Starting us off with some comments for Dark States. We got Spooky Chirpy. Fucking love that name. It's a grade 1 8K. Auto rear guard when this unit boosts. If this unit is on a rear guard with a dragon tree marker, soul charge one and this unit gets 5k until the end of the bell basically making this an 18k soul charge one booster e. overall and the soul charge kind of matters yeah because overall you got to think for the dragon tree deck having enough soul to do your dragon tree grade one and who knows what else you might get is honestly mm. not not too bad and not to mention now that we know that we're going to get some mass and we're talking about zorga and unica here in a bit it also helps those two mechanics because you have, like, Unica, she would love extra soul from something like this, and it's an 18k booster that. Yeah. Anyway, 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 moving on from this comment, because we are going to be kind of fast pacing some of these comments and smaller stuff, because, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of shit. Alex, what does this Keter do? Uh, it's a grade one common academic of inspiration interest. Uh, auto when this unit is placed on rear guard from deck. If this unit, this unit gets power plus 10,000. So 18k beater when it's placed from deck. Place from deck in Keter. That is very much Solarian. Or Youthberg. Or Youthberg. Ah, uh, deck? Yeah, I guess. Youthberg was the top three. You're not wrong. You can technically also use this in Thagria. So it's got uses everywhere. Or Graham Grace. True. Uh, deck. Deck. Well, you, you can use the great triple rare grade two to look at the top three. That too, that too. You're not wrong. All right. Moving on, though. Now I get to kind of um, geek out a little bit. Because two weeks ago, we got the rest of the cards for the Messiah Stride deck set. And oh boy, next to Arrestor, these cards are fucking amazing for the deck. Uh, we're going to start with Astrolab Dragon. It is basically the grade 3 support in the Stride Deck set and has a very similar effect to the current Judge Stride Deck set support grade 3. Uh, it starts off by going continuous rear guard GB2. During your turn, if any player has a lock card, this unit gets power 10k. If you do alter ego's effect correctly and they left you aboard, this is always going to be a 23k beater, if not more, because of the crest on rear guard and then it has a nice nifty little second ability of auto when this card is discarded from hand for the cost of stride draw a card so basically refill your stride cost don't you would love to have these back in g dude the amount of draw you'd have back then might have helped some of these decks oh yeah Moving on, though, we're going to look at the grade one support in the stride deck set. That honestly, I think is fucking amazing for alter ego and standard. Uh, we got Herbing Claw. It's a grade one 8K. Continuous Guardian Circle. If you have a Vanguard Messiah's card named, this unit gets shield 5K, making a 10K grade one. We miss 10K grade ones. Make more 10K grade ones. Yeah, Bushy, please. <laughs> and then auto rear guard. When your other unit is unlocked, you may put this unit into your soul. For those of you that don't remember Alter Ego's ability, he is when something gets unlocked, you can soul blast one to draw a card. So you basically kind of filled that cost with this card, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're going to move on to probably one of the MVPs next to a wrestler in the strides in this set, in my opinion. And that is Kalzura Klein. It is a new grade two. Well, the other two were also technically new cards. Uh, but it's a new grade two for Brent Gate for Messiah. Technically, this is just a Brent Gate card. You can play it in any brain day there, but it's not going to, you know, benefit anybody but the effect. Basically, mm. the effect. Continuous rare during your turn. If any player has a locked card, this unit gets 5k power, making it a 15 on its own. And then the big effect auto rear guard at the end of the battle that this unit attacked. If you have a Vanguard Alter Ego Messiah Crest, or if you have an Alter Ego Messiah Crest, retire this unit. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one unit card with grade equal to or less than your Vanguard from among them. Put it on an open rigor circle as a locked card and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Sadly, the, the card does not shuffle your deck, so you are stacking the bottom. So find a way to kind of shuffle and put those triggers back on top. Mm -hmm. But overall, this gives you more lock cards on the board, which enables you more multi-attack because of your strides, but also filters your deck, finds you pieces. It, it just does a lot. It does a lot. Actually, did we get... um, What's it called? Destiny Dealer yet? Yes. Destiny Dealer, I think, technically shuffles. Yes, Destiny Dealer does shuffle. Uh, this card, though, I do want to mention, while it does give you more cards in the front row that are locked that you can unlock to multi-attack with, um, mm. I, I just read it and it clicked to me. It calls a card with grade equal to or less than your Vanguard. Most of the time, you're going to be on a grade 4 in standard and in premium. And what other card is a grade 4 that's really good in Messiah? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually a good card to kind of combo with that because space and the consistency and all that. But hey, if you want to put a Volkswagen on the board, <laughs> this is a way to do it. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. All right. Now we're going to look at the encounter cards. And yes, Alex, Destiny Dealer is next. He is back. He looks fucking beautiful. He's an encounter card and he has a very identical effect to Steam Breath Dragon. Uh, continuous hand. While you are paying the cost for stride, this card may be discarded as a grade 3. Helps you with stride. And then mm -hmm. act hand, if you have an alter ego messiah crest, cause this card, this card, search deck for up to one grade 3 card with messiah in its card name, reveal it, put it into your hand, and if you searched your deck, shuffle your deck. You know, I just want to point out something. Just, just clicked with me just a minute ago. This says messiah, not alter ego messiah? No, 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 no. Um, that <laughs> when you look at the clan in the nation boxes, mm -hmm. you know, because a brand gate has like the bluish the oh, text yeah, on top yeah. of like, and you see the contrast of the Link Joker red on top of that. It's like, <laughs> man, that really stands out now to look at it. <laughs> but yeah, Destiny the is back. Like he's strive fighter material. He is a shuffle that helps the other card we talked about. And you're searching mm -hmm. out a Messiah card. Now, if we get more grade three Messiahs down the road, this is just going to get better. But for right now, you're searching an Alter Ego Messiah, and you're more than likely paying the stride cost for Axilis, which no surprise, it's going to be the same as for next stage. You have to ditch basically the same card. You know, the other funny fact of, you know, um, Brank Gate holds over the nation, but Messiah resides in Brank Gate's nation. Mm hmm. And Brant's nation. Do they. Because, you know, then, you know, had the, originally it was Brant and then it turned into Messiah. Yeah. Uh, I just, sorry, contrast is just clicked into my head. Let me continue. <laughs> Jesus, man. Anyway, the other encounter card, my one of my favorite cards ever in Messiah. We got back Sacrifice Messiah. It's still a grade one 8K and it still does a very similar effect to its ye old days. Uh, auto rigor GB1. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted. If you have a Vanguard Messiah in its card name, log this unit. Choose one of your Vanguards and gets 5k until the end of turn. Then you have no face up cards in your damage zone. Counter charge one. This is just good. Yay. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, they, they have soul charge, they have counter charge. Literally, this deck is even more of a complete package than Jet dude, was. Dude, having one of this on the board almost guarantees you you're always going to have one CB face up at all times ready to go. Because look mm -hmm. at it this way. 
uh, if I go into alter ego, use this effect, cannabis one, and then I do other effects and I'm C beat out, cool. Boost mm -hmm. with this, counter charge. Swing with the stride, counter blast. Unlock this, swing with this again. Cool, give the stride that's already rested 5k, but hey, I can lock it and counter charge again, which means next turn I have one face up CB again. Yeah. You're never gonna be hurting for CB if you have sacrifice on the ready. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it so much. Like I said, it's a cool because now the deck is like a complete package. Like you don't have to worry about having a counter charger. You don't have to worry about having a soul charger like Jet was when you had to find swirlers or something like oh, that yeah. to kind of give you that soul. Like you got plenty of soul. Granted, you still might want the soul just because Messiah can burn through soul pretty so, fast. But I've, uh, credit to Yellow Card. I saw this on Twitter. There is a card that honestly might feel really well in this deck. And it's a gray three from set two, I want to say. Mm. It says, when this unit attacks, if you have more rare girls than your opponent, and I, th I think it says more rare girls than your opponent, I'm not 100% sure, uh, you can counter blast one, soul charge one, and the unit gets 10k. Fair. So it's a not only a beater, but also a soul charger. And we just said with sacrifice, CB is not a problem. Yeah. Well, there you go. Anyway, that's been Messiah. Exilus is the only card that we don't know yet, and we're going to cover it here in a bit. But we first got to cover everything else that came in between, such as uh, getting the... Uh, <laughs> you you want to talk about this? Sure. So you remember the old G trial decks, and you had these on hits that were bad? Well, guess what? They're good now. <laughs> and why? Because they all got eroded to a similar effect. Um, so we got Shrouded Divine Knight, the Blade. A lot of you guys that have been playing for a while probably remember him. But now he has an additional effect of act in your G zone. If your Vanguard is a gray three blue sky knight um, uh, and you did not get an imaginary gift this nut fight cost, choose one or more cards of some of their grades being three or greater from your hand and discard them and stride this card on your Vanguard from face down. Then cost turn a card with the same card name, uh, same name as this card from your G zone face up get to imaginary gift force and then continuous if you <laughs> vanguard you activate this uh unit's original when this unit attack hits effects even if it did not hit and obviously it's original um vanguard if it hits uh you search your deck for one grade two and call it to regard so basically all of these original on hit strides are gonna mm -hmm. have potentially a way to stride themselves on an og gb2 unit while your opponents are great too. Potentially gain two markers of their respected marker archetype. Mm -hmm. Potentially, because let's be real here, getting two excels, two markers kind of busted. And get what was uh, probably their like kind of man if you hit kind of skill too. Yeah, it's going to hit, so you're going to get this kind of eh skill. And then some of them are really good when that happens. Yes. I believe uh, Solemn made a really good video going through what cards are going to be stupid if mm -hmm. this is the case. I think most of them are going to be kind of tame, but then when you think about Excel and you're like, cool, well, I'm going to discard a grade three, get two Excel circles. Oh, cool. I draw two cards. So I basically plus one card. So and on wanna, top of that, I'm triple driving. You want to hear a fun combo that's already technically possible? Hmm. You it and it don't and it doesn't. It, it's better if you go second. Oh, uh, ride OG Vanquisher. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, stride this stun verse. Yeah, use stun and verse, then, give rid of field and drop and potentially plus in hand and minus their hand. Uh, yeah, stride uh, the on hit, do yep. shit, go into full Bronto, do shit. Draw potentially three cards because of three Excel markers. Yeah. Well, like wiping out your opponent's board and their drop and taking out cards from their hand. And triple driving. Yeah. Well, oh. triple driving. And then an extra Quad drive, drive check. Quad driving, technically, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's not the only thing that in the history set, I think this was uh, called the history collection, yes. uh, is going to be introducing. Ain't that right? Yep, I think this one's going to be more impactful oh, than the said. other one. Uh, we got the crits that were for specific, specific decks updated. So, our, uh, for instance, Heart Thump, Heart Thump Worker. Um, 
now has auto when this unit uh, when your vanguard with Corona Jet and its current name attacks. You can put Scorn to your soul, draw a card, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets power plus five until the end of the turn. Same old, same old. And then auto when this unit is revealed for a damage check, you can also draw a card. Also, uh, I think it was revealed that their yes. stats were also changed. Yes, so 15K they are now shield, 10, 10k power. Yes. So, yeah, this one is not unlike the stride, where the stride is locked to the original named Vanguard. Mm -hmm. um, these are not. So you can still run these in other versions of, like, Luard and stuff like that. And yeah, Jet and Since and we're talking stuff. about Heart th uh, Thump Worker, like, you can run this in Chrono Jet, you can run this in Chrono Jet G, you can run this in Chrono Jet Z. You can also run this in the V version of Chrono Jet. Pretty much. You don't have to make a sacrifice to how you build your deck. Yep. So that's the extra additions for the history set. And until we see the rest of them, I'm a little bit like if all the crits are like this, it's going to be really cool. It's incentive to play them. They're not GB locked. So you can do them in the early game when your opponent's at grade two to kind of get mm -hmm. the extra buffs and sort of support and yada, yada, yada. Um, and then the strides are going to be the impactful ones because uh, like I said, the Excel is my fa biggest fear because making two extra rear guards as well as drawing two cards Kind of sounds busted. And on top of that, when you think about, oh, your opponent's at grade two while you're making two Excel circles and striding yeah. and all this. like Yeah, that's oof. the biggest thing. Yeah, you can all do all these new ones while your opponent's still grade two. You can stride while your opponent's grade two as long as you're on the OG Vanguard, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, with that being said and that speculation being left for another day, we're going to move back to set 10 and some leaks we're getting with commons and rares. Uh, this time, a Dragon Tree support card, which we now know can be also a Mask support card, uh, in mm -hmm. Dragon Empire called Thirst... Thirst Stray Dragon? Yes. Jesus, I thought it was thirsty, but it's not. Anyway, uh, continuous... It's a grade 3, 13k base, of course. Continuous rigor during your turn. If this unit is on a rigor with Dragon Tree marker, this unit gets power 10k, basically making it a 20k... 28k beater on its own. Yeah. Because, you know, the I mean, 5k from the dragon tree plus the 10k from itself. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know I what mean, else to say. <laughs> I mean, you got your Esperidias in grade 10, but who, depending on who gets masked in Dragon Empire, this could be a mm -hmm. really good card. Exactly. Anyway, moving on. Alex, it's your turn. Oh, uh, yes, you got the new Dragon Dragon uh, Empire ride line. I'm just going to put this here, and you're probably going to hear it in the video, too, of, you know, I always wanted Bushy Road to bring back Thunderstrike. <laughs> this is not how I expected it, but damn, do I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so you got Scarlet Flame Recruit Barkish. It's a reg regular starter effect. It's the same old, same old we've seen before. Um, next, we have Scarlet Flame Bo Bow Soldier uh, Greedio. It's a um, continuous vanguard when your uh, if your opponent has one or less rear guards. When you would ride a Scarlet Flame Bow General Dampil from your ride deck, you can ride without discarding a card from your hand. And then auto when this unit is rode upon. If your opponent has two or more rear uh, rear guards, you may call this card to a rear guard. I mean, that's just good. Yeah. Um, and then Scarlet Flame Bo Bow Soldier Dempil, the guard that we discard on that card. Auto, when this unit is rode upon by a unit with uh, Grandiva in its card name, you can choose one of your vanguards, and the cost of that unit's original act ability is reduced by Counterblast 1 until the end of turn. So basically, if it has a Counterblast 1 ability, the first time you go into it, it's basically free, but the next time it's costly. Exactly. So, what is the new boy, and what is this gimmick? Uh, also, I just want to say that, you know, back, welcome back to Walls of Text on a card. <laughs> <Hell>. <laughs> uh, Scarlet Flame Marshall Dragon Gan uh, Gandiva. Uh, auto Vanguard, when your opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn, choose a card from your drop, and you may bind it face down. It's not like and you need grave recursion. <laughs> <laughs> And then continuous Vanguard during your turn, all of your front row units gain power plus 2k for each face down card in your bind zone. If your bind zone has five or more uh, face down cards, this unit gets critical plus one. Mm. Then act 
<laughs> Vanguard once per turn cost counterblast one. Choose five of your opponent's rear guards with different grades. Reveal the top five cards of your deck and retire all of the chosen units with the same grades as any of the cards revealed. Shuffle your deck, and if you retired one or less units, draw a card, choose a card from your drop, and bind it face down. So a lot to um, process. Yeah. Uh, I want to point out the funny fact that he has one of each ability, auto act and continuous. Oh, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> so Alex, uh, tell us how this is good and uh, what all this entails. So the first ability is when anything's retired. Rather, you retire with a card effect or you attack into it. If it's retired, period, you get to bind the card face down, which is important because that means your rear guards are, are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger every turn. So if you really want some extra power because you get plus two for each one, you can just swing a rear guard into a rear guard and get it power, <laughs> bind a card face down. Um, it's it's uh, other ability. You're going to get big. I'm going to tell you this now before you see this video because I've been doing play tests with this before you even record this. This deck is get big very, very fast. <laughs> You're probably swinging for 40 to 50 K columns. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you're uh, going to uh, spoiler. You're going to have a multi attack in this deck and the it's a continuous front row. So you're going to get power to everything, even the multi attack. So just keep that in mind. Um, sometimes you just kind of want to use the waste the resources because you're going to get there very fast. Also, I like how this deck has joined the clan of you will be shuffling every fucking turn. Get used to it. <laughs> Uh, not so much as you think. You're not using the Cannabis 1 act ability? You mean you are going to use that, yes. But, I mean, that's really the only ability you're really going to use to really go into your deck. Yeah, but you're still shuffling every fucking time you Fair. use it. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, the Cannabis ability uh, is really good because you retire a bunch of units. And if you don't retire, you at least get a draw off of it. So it replaces itself. And if you retire one you get the best value out of this because you get to bind two cards from your drop, one from its first ability and one from the other ability and draw a card. I kind of see that because it's basically if you go in max in one side, you're board wiping. If you go uh, min in the other side, you're at least getting two K to the front and drawing a card. But if you're right there at the sweet spot where you just like said, you only can retire one unit. Mm -hmm. You're not only retiring a unit on their board and negging them, you're getting 2k, 4k to the front, you're drawing a card, like you're doing all the good shit. And if you want a really fun tech option with this card, you do it like I did, and you run Best Harvest, and if your opponent has three rear guards, you just go counter blast one, uh, pop three, draw three. Pretty much. Bind three. 6k to the front let's go <laughs> get all the value out of that card yeah but this card is not the only way because you know getting the five to give him a crit is all nice and all but it's not the only way to get stuff face down in bind zone he got way too much support dude this card got this deck got all the support uh we got scarlet flame bow general stiguna stir stir guna good Fun. enough uh, auto when this unit is placed on rear guard it's a great thing by the way if you have a vanguard with Genfita and his card name Soul Blast one and bind another rear guard face down. Uh, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it. If you did not retire, draw a card, choose a card from your drop and bind it face down. So let me get this straight. This common, this common uh -huh. grade three can not only uh, potentially kill something on your opponent's board and give 4k to the front row. Mm -hmm. But can if he doesn't succeed in giving 4k to the front row, he at least gives 2k and you get the fucking draw a card. Yeah. How is this a common? <laughs> it replaces <laughs> itself or removes something and on top of that gives power to the front row. How is this a common? Hold on, hold on. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That was Eugene screaming. He wants his support back. <laughs> Holy shit, this is common. Like, we got, like, double rares and shit to read. Yes, so, first double rare. Drag Ritter Alfunkar. Alfakar? Alfakar. 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 Uh, that, yeah. Uh, auto rearguard, when your vanguard with Gantvita and its card name attacks a grade 3 or greater vanguard, cost counterblast 1. 
Find this unit face down. <laughs> Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one grade three or less unit card from among them. Call it to rear guard and shelf your deck. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh. So you're telling me <laughs> Just, you can swing with a rear guard. And uh -huh. then when your Vanguard swings, was the, uh, you use this rear guard. You can a bless one. Give two K to the front row, basically. Yeah. And then if you succeed in calling the other grade three we uh, talked about, you get another 2K to the front row, potentially 4K, or draw a card. So just yeah. plus. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> it's multi attack with a lot of power, a lot of plussing. And it's not even done. Like, they got even more yeah. support. It gets even more crazy. But we'll talk about that when we get there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. First, we need to talk about the new gimmick showing up in this set. Grade ones in sets have found in the common slots, or rare slots even, a gimmick across all clans. We saw them with the beginning in the 10k boosters. Whenever we hit boost, it gained 2k power. Then we saw the gimmick in specific mechanic, gain 5k power boosters. And again... Pretty much the same thing again in another set. And this booster's gimmick, it seems, as we read last week with the Dragon Empire, is apparently 15k grade ones. Because we got Surging Sharp Fang in Stoikea. That's a 15k grade one. And it says, mm -hmm. continuous, this card cannot be ridden. Well, duh, <laughs> it's better than a grade three. But mm -hmm. it says, auto, when this unit is placed on rigor from hand, retire this unit. Which means the only way to get this on the board is through um, any way of uh, calling it other than from hand, be it superior or normal call. Most of the time it's going to be from drop and still Ikea. Yeah, it's still Ikea. Let's be real here. <laughs> so another 15k graded one. I'm curious to see how the 15k graded ones for Dark States, Keter, and Brinky are going to look now. I am we already a have Shadow about, Army tokens. I am a little upset about this card. Mm-hmm. Where it is in the first festival collection, we got the Doger, mm -hmm. or not Doger, but the dog e. that's a 15k. It has no shield. Oh, yeah. This yeah, well, now we have a common that is a 15k rare, body rare. that has almost the exact same effect. Rare. But better because it's, that's almost the exact same effect, but better because not only does it have a shield, but it doesn't have to be placed behind the Vanguard every single turn. Hey, man, it's a rare. <laughs> Yeah, the other one was like, oh, what, double or triple rare? It was a festival collection, triple rare, basically. <laughs> anyway, before Alex gets an aneurysm, let's talk about another common grade one for Brankgate this time. We in Serve 9G. Uh, it is, like I said, common grade one. Eight key power continues during your turn. If your order zone has a grade three or greater set order, this unit gets 5k. I am starting to think... We are going to see a Brank Game Mask that's going to do something with a Great 3 order because uh, this is not EVA support, nor is it meant to be. So the only other Great 3 set order that I can think of is something coming. Is uh, the the Broommaids or whatever also, is there is a Great 3? No, that's a Great 1 set order. Okay. The only other Great 3 say, set order technically is Velstra, but you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Velstra Mask, let's go. I'll I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, no. moving to speaking of orders, we're gonna move real quick to a rare order that's honestly fucking good in mm -hmm. Cage of Evil Stars. It's a grade three normal order for dark states, and it's a rare that uh, soul charge one, which is always good. Choose a grade mm -hmm. three or less card from your soul, call it to rear guard, and th that unit gets 5k until the end of turn. This is a spiritual body, but in reverse. Mm -hmm. Where was this like set to go? I know, right? This can go in any Dark Sage deck and it benefits basically any Dark Sage deck. This is literally going, I have this card in hand. Basically, I have access to anything plus one in my soul to be on the board now. Hey, you know what this is? Hmm? This turned uh, the greed on three attack combo would make it a lot easier. Because now you can just grab the great two from your soul. Hey! The whole, you know, the grade two that makes the three attack Vanguard possible from Greedon? I mean, technically, sure, but mo more cards than just that make the free attack possible. Oh, uh, fair. I was going to say, it just makes it easier, but you it, grab your pieces, specific pieces. Yeah, this is just a good card. Like, if you see something in your soul, it's like, okay, it's out. Honestly, I can see this in Bear Magnus. 
Probably not. Hold yeah. Up. It, it, Bear Magnus is see. really tight on just going turbo. But if it wasn't so tight, you just go, okay, I got a 15 card. So let me see what's a good card in here to just pop oh. it on the rear guard. No. You know what this is great in? Bruce? No. Jadul. <gasps> when you soul charge your rack rock. Yeah. And you need is. to get it out of your soul. It is. This oh. is your emergency button. I'm definitely <laughs> using that. All right. I'm going to read one more card and I'm going to let you take the rest. But before we read that card and potentially move forward, I do want to mention, because I wanted to mention before at the end of your Dragon Empire ride line, I forgot. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want some fucking good ass looking deck boxes, go to zerodamagegaming.com and they have some beautiful deck boxes. They basically took the playmat designs and said, wrap them around this shit. Yeah, it literally is the exact same playmat designs. And you saw the qual if you've seen the quality of the actual playmatch, which are honestly pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Um, you know that you're gonna be getting quality with these two. Yep. So go over there, use the code Top Deck Heroes for a discount, and you know, uh get yourself something really nice. Like I'm gonna yes. get myself something really nice with this card. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. Got <sighs> Exilus. And I won't say he's all I ever wanted him to be. Like, of course, he could be a 10 times better, but 10 times better means broken for the game. So I'm fine that he's where he at. Because this is honestly really good still. Uh, mm -hmm. Genesis Dragon Exilus Messiah. Be beautiful art. The SP looks even more gorgeous. Gray 4, 15k. Just like next stage, Stride Step, discard a Gray 3 with Messiah in its card name from your hand to be able to strive this. So it's mm -hmm. restricted behind it because Auto Vanguard GB2 costs Counterblast 1, choose any number of any player's lock cards and unlock them. If you unlocked a card, choose the same number of your rear guards as the number of cards unlocked by this ability, stand them, and until the end of the turn, all of your front row units get power 10k, and this unit gets critical plus one. I love it. I love it so much. It's multi-attack. It's power. Board it is. Okay, so I'm going to rant ever so quickly and uh, uh, on this topic. Um, oh, God. <laughs> you can achieve multi-attack, five attacks, with this card in a couple of different ways. One, if you have one lo front low locked after battle phase, be it Arrestor or the other grade two, you get mm -hmm. five attacks because you unlock Arrestor and then you restand whatever is in the other column. Mm -hmm. If you don't have anything like a rest or anything like that that can lock itself during battle phase in the front row, you just need something in the back row that you got for with the alter ego potentially and a sacrifice. And then lock those two. And then swing with your front row. Swing with this. Unlock your back row. Restand your front row. Mm -hmm. Or, or... Let's say you've managed to activate Alter Ego's ability and you've locked something in your back row. But you couldn't get Sacrifice, you couldn't get Arrestor, you couldn't get anything else to lock on your board. Well, you've activated Alter Ego's ability. Swing with one column, swing with the other column, swing a Vanguard, unlock whatever you locked on your board, and unlock whatever you locked on your opponent's board, Restand the front row. Mm -hmm. This has enabled multi-attack for Messiah, five attacks at all times with little to no effort. The only only cost to this is that you have to discard a Messiah, which luckily you have a Destiny Dealer to search those. Exactly. But do keep in mind that you do your opponent still has to see either Destiny Dealer or Messiah. Not to mention because this card is GB2 locked and with the way the deck works, you're always going to be basically at GB3 when you go into this. Uh, mm -hmm. This is uh, giving you not only 10k to the front row from your crest, but also its own ability, which is basically 20k to the front row on the last three attacks, which is fucking good ass numbers. Mm -hmm. And it's a crit on top of that. Like, just do a simple math here. No abilities, just Vanguard ability. Let's say just Alter Ego's ability alone. You're a 28k. They gained 5k. Went to 33. Activated this ability. Gained another 20k. This is a 53k attacker. Double critical. Triple drive. Yeah. 
I think the word PG or GG is like, holy shit. <laughs> or uh, just throw down uh, an over trigger for a one to pass. <laughs> We've gotten to that point, haven't we? Yeah. Anyway, I love Exilus. I can't wait to test him out and see how he does. And, you know, I'm happy camper. Messiah's back. Messiah's back. My baby is back. Now, right. let's get Luard next. <laughs> Shh. Let's move on to your turn. <laughs> right, more big bombshell drops. So we got... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I say one more thing? Yeah. Not just bombshell drops. Mm -hmm. For some reason, returning to abusive relationships. Ain't that right? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love how Bushy Road just keeps making me turn back to this deck. If, after it hurts me so many times. <laughs> It's an abusive relationship that I can't escape. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got a new Zorga. If you didn't know what I was talking about, um, teasing spiritualist Zorga masks. Oh, he is definitely teasing you. Uh, <laughs> guy can it has uh, multiple abilities. Uh, first is continuous. This card cannot be written. Uh, can only be written from a grade three with Zorga and this card name. So basically, you have to have a Zorga first before you can write this. Continuous Vanguard. Uh, when you play a normal order, you can bind a normal order from your drop in Alchemagic. Yes, it cannot. It can be the same normal order. You can combine the same order for Alchemagic for once. Nice. Uh, Continuous Vanguard. If you did Alchemagic this turn, all of your front row gets power plus 10,000 until the end of turn. Or just continuous power plus 10,000. And then Act Vanguard. Once per turn cost. Remove a card with Zorga and its card name that is different from this unit from your hand, soul, or drop. Choose a card from your drop. Call it to rear guard if it is a unit card or put it into your hand if it is a normal order. But good. Yeah. So Fucking you can good. just eat Zorgas to fix your hand or board. It's plus 10 to the front row, so it's a mini persona ride. Uh, you can alka magic with anything, so you're not tied to using different orders now. If you have the same order, you, you have an order in hand or drop, and you get it now. You can still use it, but you, you can do the same. Only downside is that you have to ride on top of a Zorga. Is it really a downside? No, because we're going to talk about how you can cheese this in. <laughs> I do want to mention one thing real quick, because a little bit of this speculation has been going on, and I think it does not work, but I will leave that to judges to decide. It, mm -hmm. The continuous ability is... When you would play a normal order, you can bind a normal order from your drop and alka magic. Mm -hmm. well, the next card we're going to read is potentially opening the door of triple alka magic, but I don't think that works. And I'll leave that to the judges. And we'll explain here in a bit when we read uh, the thing. Um, Mask of the Hydrogen. It's a nationless grade three normal order. Look at the top, it's uh, ability is when you play it, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one normal unit with Dragon Tree or Mask in its card name from among them, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So basically searches a Dragon Tree card or it searches out your Mask Grade Threes. And then Act Drop Zone. If you have a Grade Three Vanguard without Mask in its card name, cost, reveal a Grade Three card with Mask in its card name from your hand, Ride the card revealed for uh, for the cost as stand. If you rode, put this card into your uh, into the soul. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, and you did not persona ride this turn, activate persona ride. <laughs> Don't put it. So, turn three persona ride, and this is if how you, you cheese your mask in. Yeah, and this is how you cheese your mask onto the board immediately. I mean, even having a way to turn like cool. Go second turn uh, three persona, right? In Zorga's context, that's 20 K to the front row. And you've basically soul charged too because you rode and put this into soul. Uh, yeah. On top of that, even if you go sec uh, first, this that's still 10 K to the front row because of Zorga's fucking ability. Yes. Uh, or more, but depending on the order you play. And you're still done the whole soul charge thing like I was talking about. Like, this is just a fucking good card. This is just a fucking good mechanic. You do need to see this specific card to do anything. But the second you see this card, there's a catch 22 here. There's a Q&A and all that. And I'm going to read the Q&A here. So kind of give everything. Uh, you can activate both abilities in one turn. Uh, yes. But here's the Q&A regarding masks and Zorga. Can I ride mask unit on a normal unit without a mask? 
Yes, you can. It doesn't specify. You just, you know, reading the card explains the card. If I ride a mask unit on a normal unit without mask, does it activate Persona Ride? No, it does not. Persona Ride still is the same name. The only one that can do that is Fegria. Uh, one D turn when I play Mask of uh, Hydra Grum from hand, can I activate the, uh, the effect of Mask of Hydra Grum in my drop zone to ride a mask unit from my hand? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, when it's an a yes. act ability on top of it, it's not the actual orders. Correct. Of I'll get to that here in a sec. Uh, when I use a Mask of Hydra Grum, uh, can I ride Teasing Spiritual Zorga uh, Mask on a any unit no you cannot you can only ride on a unit that fits the text written on zorga mask so alex pointed out really well uh yes it's an act ability because there's this was a misconception uh that thankfully the bodice combo helped me research into and understand uh order abilities are basically another type of ability. And when I say another type of ability, they are classified next to act abilities, auto abilities, and continuous abilities. So you have act, auto, continuous, and order abilities. They're basically in the same group. Mm. And while you can only play an order and use its order ability when played uh, once a game, Granted, it's a different story whenever an order says when this card is put. But no, you can only play an order once a turn and therefore activate its order ability that once turn. The other ability is an act ability. You're not playing the order, you're just activating its ability. Therefore, you can activate both of them in the same time, in the same turn. So you can search your Zorga mask with this card and then just go into it straight away. Mm -hmm. Also, I will say that there is going to be more of these. We'll talk about this later. Mm -hmm. But... Um, Zorga, I think, has the most mileage out of this card because one, it has um, Shadow Cloak. What's it called? Shadow Cloak. You can just drop it straight into your drop if you need it there. On top of that, um, you have orders that use orders for the cost. For instance, Ye Wandering Souls gives a drive check by discarding an order. So you can pay use this to pay for the cost of that to give your Vanguard a drive check and then still activate it from drop. But well, you'd lose the drive check whenever you rode the new unit, but sure. No, I mean, like, early game, like in the episode, the, he used it on oh, the great two-turn. Yeah. So you can still use You Wondering Souls early in and use this as a cost because, spoiler I mean, alert, there's cards that search this card from your deck and add it to your hand. Exactly. Like, we're going to get to that. And that's a, f a key part here. Like, if you see just this card, you're set into going into your mask unit. But if you see your mask grade three in hand already and this card and you think okay i don't want to use it and find another grade three that i'm going to add to my hand or i'm already at mask i can just ditch this for ride line and save it for later or in your case like mm -hmm. you said ditch it for an effect yes like overall this is showing some weird ass good consistency and i'm scared felt, hmm? see this in your opening hand oh cool but at least another anchor chain can discard this i know right <laughs> just, just discard with Rancor Chain and then add it back with the uh, the, the, the Great 2 Dragon for the ride line. Yeah. And just go, I am there, just so you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, two more cards for Stokea. One of them was the Dragon Tree you just mentioned. Yes. Uh, Dragon Tree, Wretch, Depth, Idwell. Idwell. Um, it's a grade two dragon tree, double rare. Auto, when this unit is placed on rear guard, cost counter blast one, soul blast one, choose one of your rear guards without a dragon tree marker on it and put a dragon tree marker on it. And then search your deck for up to one mask of the hydrogram, reveal it, put it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Good. You basically yeah. have eight copies of that fucking mask in your deck now if you run full play sets of both this and the mask. Yeah. And if you think about it, you technically have... 12 copies of your mask grade three because you have this to search your mask, the mask, and the grade three itself. Yeah. yeah. So, so consistency you're probably, is good. <laughs> yeah. You're probably always going to see it. I will say, I will say, uh, to get the optimal, you need to see this or the mask. Yeah. Because you want to get to your mask unit as fast as possible. But if for some mm -hmm. reason you break, it's still turn four, ride mask, whatever, and go. Yes. I will say, if you have the Counter Blast and the Soul Blast and you want to be really fun, you can go play this, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, get a Dragon Tree Marker, get the Mask, use the Mask, grab another of him, play that one, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, get another Marker, grab another Mask into your hand. Very much. 
Um, one thing to po point out, this is a generic run. It's not direct Zorga support, it's just a generic Dragon Tree wrench. You can technically run this in the Grade 10 version of Stokea, because you yes. can not only make a marker that's giving you Grade 10 uh, critical, but you can also search the mask, use the mask, and find another Dragon Tree card, which is mm -hmm. this, which is the other Grade 1 wretches, which is also the Grade 10. Also, um, because you have the other dragon tree, it puts a normal order back from your drop to your hand, so you can add the mask back to your hand and keep using it over and over again. Pretty much. The only so sad it's honestly part, starting to flesh itself out. The only sad part inside of the Great Ten version with the dragon tree wretches is that your soul is very, very, very struggling because you can't use the mask to ride a mask onto a Great Ten it's, because he doesn't exist yet. And if they make a mask, Griffogira, oh, all shit hits the fan. So we're We'll skip that for now. <laughs> to be grade 11. <laughs> <laughs> but so all that speculation aside, there is one more double rare specifically for Zorga that has given Zorga access to Inlet. <laughs> yep. Uh, we got Neil Serving. It's a grade two double rare 5k base. Auto drop when this when you're teasing spiritual Zorga mask on your vanguard attacks. If you did not have a copy of this on your rear guard, counter blast one, retire a rear guard, and call this card from drop to a dragon tree marker. So you have to have a dragon tree marker, which means you're restricted to running either of the dragon tree wretches. But um, you know, multi attack is multi attack. And you're like you said before, if you get everything with the whole persona ride, Zorga's effect. Let's say you played, um, what's it called? Um, uh, Cloud of Miasma. Uh, yeah. Magic it's also getting 5k, so you're getting a plus 25 to the front row. And then on Dragon Tree Marker is giving also another 5k, so that's a plus 30. So it's going to be a 35 on its own if all the planets align. And not only that, this comes out on the Vanguard Swing, which means you can even give it trigger effects. Exactly. So, you know, granted, it does restrict Zorga to four attacks. But, you know, Zora just getting plus one attack period is something that we've been waiting for, like, how many years now? A lot. <laughs> it feels like an eternity. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, we're going to move on. We're going to start speeding through these again because we're at yes. the 45 minute mark and we even got into the news section that's also packed. Yes. Let's not miss a week. <laughs> so uh, you want to care about this one? Sure. We got a grade one comment again. 8K for Keter. Incisive Crow. Auto, rear guard, when this unit boosts, discard a card from your hand, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets 2k until the end of battle for every two of that unit's grade. Really good in grade 10, give 10k, but the ditch is kind of sad. You don't want to really ditch. I don't think there's any good cards in Dra uh, Dragon Empire, uh, Dragon Ketter that you want to ditch, unless you put this in youth and just make another booster. E. Do you want to put this in youth to give it just how many? When this unit gets 2k until the end for every two, so just 2k to the youth just to get another booster on the board? No, but you probably this in Dragon Tree, so you can get plus 10. But you know your hand size, man, hand size. I know. We'll see. It's a comment for a reason, but hey, time for you to shine again with your bullshit thunder strike. Go back again. Why? You don't want to talk about thunder strike? I don't want to, you know. We can I do. It. I know, but I just realized that, you know, this actually can actually plus you. How? says when it boosts discard a card from your hand so you got um wayward angel when it's discarded you can soul blast to call it back out again drop that is actually what i was talking about gaining an extra booster in youth uh fair that is exactly what that was referencing fair enough fair enough fair enough all right talk about your little bind face yeah, down yes. for so, child mechanic so so you know we were spiraling down a rabbit hole of how big power and multi-attack we got so let's make it worse so we got swordsman of the crim of crimson scales bardiana uh is a double rear grade one auto rear guard at the end of the battle this unit boost if any player's rear guard was retired this turn i love it says any so you can retire your own to proc this um cost bind this unit face down to draw a card so retire when the other double rear gets retired, you mean? Oh, it doesn't retire. It uh, binds No, 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 no. Bind this, uh, bit, bind this thing face down when your other double rear grade 2 retires itself to call something new? No, it binds itself face down too. Listen! 
So you're telling me you can activate this when your opponent has an empty front row of empty field because your other double rare grade two that's allowing you to multi-attack is retiring itself to proc this fucking ability. Philip, go read the double rare. It retires itself. No. Yes. No. When you it's guarding the types of anger, can I plus one? Oh. Damn it. Well, sorry <laughs> for me trying to break your fucking deck. I know it would have been nice. Otherwise, I would be ranting about that. Anyways, but yes, so you can more than likely you're going to retire your opponent's rear guard. But if they don't, cool. Well, guess what? Guess what? Just pull down a trigger, call over the trigger with this. There you go, because <laughs> it just says any players, not just your opponents. Not wrong. I mean, still, it's two k to the front and a plus. What, yeah. What the fuck? Can we stop giving power to the front row and plusing? But wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> this was not supposed gotta, to be a rare. You got a grade two Scarlet Flame Bow General Regrant. Um, it's auto when this unit is placed on rear guard. If you have Vanguard with Gandvita and its card name, cost counter blast one. Choose an opponent's rear guard, retire it. If you do not retire, draw a card, choose a card from your job and find a piece down. I will say there's a lot of CB. So yes. That's at least nice. And you don't have any good characters. <laughs> yeah. So the fun fact is that, you know, the Vanguard so far is the only thing that really counter blasts. No, no. We, the other card is a soul blast. No, we read another card that counter blast. Oh, sorry. And the card that binds itself face down is a counter blast. And the one that gives you multi attack. Yeah, yeah. That one is the other multi uh, counter blast. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can probably burn through it fast if you are not careful. I mean, look at the, the bright side. The first time you go into your grade three, you get a free one. Yes. So it is. But what it is. the fun. But the fun fact about the other card is that it's on uh, it's on place. It's just like the great three. So that means you can kind of combo in to draw more cards if your opponent already has an empty board. Because I hate it. And plus two kids <laughs> from a row. And plus two kids like, from a row. Yeah. It's like a uh, Vanquisher all over again. It's great. I can't not wait to face against this. Uh, anyway, moving on to some other support. Orphis got some loving with a comment in a double rare. I'll be real also here, Orphis Mask might happen. So I don't know why they were waiting so long to show it us, but maybe later down the road we're gonna get Orphis Mask, but if we don't, we don't. The new support cards though are very interesting because we got Cardinal Noid Runder. Mm -hmm. It's a common grade two 10k base. Auto when this unit is placed on rigor from hand. If your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, you may look at the top seven cards of your deck. If you do, choose up to two world cards from among them, discard them, and shuffle your deck. Uh, auto rearguard, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked a vanguard. If your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, retire this unit, choose a world card from your drop, and put it into your hand. Overall, not a bad card for a common. You get to kind of filter your deck, uh, deck thin, put stuff in the drop zone, because with Regus, this is really good. And on top of that, you can just prep yourself for the next turn. Not even not even prep, like kind of compensate for Regis. Because if you swing at right. this, put an order to hand, now you have an order that you can ditch. If you if you want to keep it and did something else, cool, but at least you plus the card in the hand. So when you do Orphus Regus, uh, you're not minusing hand. Yes. So we're all not back great too common in all honesty. Like, mm -hmm. surprisingly, I would have rather had that be the double rare than this, but this is still not bad, because we got a double rare grade one 5k base, Cardinal Principal Lorry Field, or Lore Field, technically. Mm -hmm. Auto, when this unit is placed on rigor from hand, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, soul bless one and call a Shadow Army token to rigor in the same column as this unit, basically making a 20k column. It's yeah. I, like cool. More Shadow Army token generation is not bad. But I there's like other the other cards that are there's other cards that are on place that make Shadow Army tokens better, like the promo. The, the promo, yeah. Uh, the promo is technically not on place. The promo is retire itself for a soul blast to make a Shadow Army token. But it also builds soul on place. Exactly. So overall, like it's a potato, potato, whatever you want. Granted, the only other way to make Shadow Army tokens other than convolutive methods, there was a grade two Cannablast one make a Shadow Army token, which was Cannablast, which in Orphis you really don't want to do. So having a Soul Blast make a Shadow Army token and leave a unit on the board is honestly not bad. It's a two for one. I mean, the other one retires itself. It wastes this one, stays on the board, and it's actually a little 5k to it. 
So exactly, 20k column. Uh, moving on though, we do have something else. Now, last week we talked about, or last week we didn't attack last week because we never got last week. Um, <laughs> apparently, set ten or set yet yeah, set ten is going to be introducing a generic triple rare cycle cards for each nation. Uh, mm -hmm. What does this mean? Well, I'll tell you the card and then you can kind of put one and one together because we got a great 2 10k triple rare Sickle Blade of Investigation Habitable Zone. Habitable. Habitable Zone. Yeah, sorry. The word table is in there, though. So technically I wasn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, Habitable Zone. Um, it's like I said, great 2. Auto... When this card is discarded from hand during your ride phase, Soul Bus 1, put this card on the bottom of your deck and draw a card. There's the cycle. But that's not where it ends. Auto, when this unit is placed on rear guard. Not from hand, not from nothing, just placed. Uh, if you Persona Row this turn, Canter Bus 1, search your deck for up to one set order card, reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Until the end of turn, you can play a total of up to two order cards, and the next set order you play can be pay played without paying its cost. Free plus! Well, you know how, like, before when you play Orifice, and you're like, man, I can only get the three orders on my first turn, so uh, I only get one uh, turn. You can technically still only get the three orders in your first turn, because the second ability is Persona Ride Locked. Uh, fair. I love where your cool. thoughts going. I would love it to be like that, but unfortunately, it's not. It does, however, uh, if we're talking about Regus specifically, it does mm -hmm. accelerate you from three set orders to six immediately if you everything lines up correctly. Mm -hmm. So you know that's a good plus. But, but technically, it could happen because if Orphus ever does get a mask, and you do get to activate Persona Ride on first grade three turn. You're not wrong. Like this is all t like this is just a good card for the mask units because you're activating Persona Ride right immediately, and I can kind of see all of the cycle cards being somewhat similar. Because last set in set nine, we did get double rare dragons that all activated when you Persona Road. I can mm -hmm. kind of see those guys getting a little bit more play now. Because imagine if you ran the Great uh, Two Stokea Dragon when you do the mask. Oh look, give another unit on the board 10k investing 10k. For yeah. a soul blast. Yeah. Ain't it busted? Pretty dumb. Yeah, there we go. Uh, where this card shines right now, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, Eva almost immediately. Like, who doesn't want to just get three... Uh, fr uh, like, look at this way. You place this on the board, right? You counter bless one. Uh, you get a grade three set order in Eva. So you play one set order, look at top five, call. Play another set order, look at top five, fucking call. Go burr. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, it's just you don't. You don't have to play this in Orphus. Nope. In Orphus, it's nice because you get more set orders, sure. Like, you can draw a card, you can get a free Shadow Army token, you can just give Shadow Army tokens 5k if you want to, like, there's options. In other decks, like, let's say Arkwright, cool, you get another research. But most of the time, when you get to Persona Right Turn, you've potentially, because it goes one, two, three, you've potentially already played all your fucking researches. So getting a second order doesn't really benefit you. Uh, yeah. Snow does not do an, a, all, nothing for Snow, this card. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, looking at Velstra, same thing. Velstra really doesn't want this. By the time you're in Persona Right territory, you've basically gotten where you want to go, and you can't even put your grade 3 maximum into the order zone with this card, so everything else is kind of like, eh, I don't really need to search and add orders for a CB. No. Oh my god, I just realized how good this is in EVA, because you can use the one order to look at the top five. Oh my god, how are you Call even listening? I literally said that 10 seconds ago. It just clicked into my head. Play this, get a great three order. Play the great three order. Look at top five call. Play another great three order. Look at top five call. Oh no, I'm saying you can use the great three order to call this and then proc it because it's on place. That too. That technically works too. You're not completely wrong. That actually does work. Yeah, so you can just persona ride, draw into it, then play the order, proc this, keep going, keep digging off of just top decking one card. Pretty much. So overall, this is a fucking amazing card. 
it just the deck it needs to be used in needs to kind of fit because let's look at the heroes again you're really not going to use this in heroes because you're not going to play multiple bases in one turn because by the time you can do this you've already potentially are at three bases like getting a fourth base sure if you really want to overextend like that it might be helpful but this is not a hero it's going to mess up your mechanic it takes a cb it's going to take a while i think you don't really need this in heroes and then you look at the other decks, it's like, like I said, Gravidia. This is honestly fucking amazing in Gravidia. More deck fin. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yeah, Gravidia is a brand gate deck. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Let me get more meteors out of my deck and let me put more meteors in my order zone. Like, why the fuck not? Granted, the Soul Blast might be... You're fine. You, he... Your meteors can Soul Charge good, sir. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, you're This right. is really oh, good in your fucking Gravidia. Yay. That sounded bad. I hope that didn't sound like that on the mic. Holy shit. Anyway, <laughs> before we keep ranting about this one card even more and going over the fucking hour mark, there's two more cards to cover before we hit the news section. Alex, go. Uh, we got another Stoic card, a rotating compass. Great two, great 10k. Common auto rear card when the shoot when you play an Alka Magic. Uh, sorry, when you play and Alka Magic in order, cost, discard a card from your hand, choose a grade one or less card from your drop, call it to rear guard in the same column as this unit. And it's yeah. like you're calling a card from drop. It's not really plusing, you're just doing something, you just got a bigger inventory of stuff to call. It's like the uh, Dark State's order when you soul charge and call something, but without giving the 5k. I mean, you're minusing a card from your hand to get a card in your board, so it's like you called the card from your hand. Exactly. The only difference is you might give better uh, better cards in your drop than you have in your hand. Like if you have an order, if you have too many orders in hand, let me ditch this and make a unit on the board. I mean, granted, you can't discard either a Rummy Prison Dragon or the the multi attacker, but still, like it's got potential. But at the same time, it's literally just like you call from hand. You just got a bigger inventory to call from. Yeah. Uh, speaking of orders, uh, evocative wheezing. It's a grade zero order. Yay. This, this has a lot of potential because of this. Um, play this card with cost counter blast one. Look at five cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card with a grade equal to or greater than your Vanguard. Put it into your hand and discard the rest. Uh, you know why this you know why this card's great? Because you can run it in Dragon Tree in the early game. Yeah. But you know why this is also great in Dragon Tree in the early game? Hmm? Because it discards the rest. So you can just discard the rumming prison dragons that are in there, have them set up. Oh, fuck. And it's a grade zero, so you can play it at any point in Dragon Tree. Oh my Don't god, this CB. mills you five. Yeah. I didn't realize this the first time. This mills you five? Yeah. Oh god, this might be better than I thought. Yeah, this is a really good card. Uh, I think Nectar might be making an appearance again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh my god, Nectar inside of there. Just keep pumping everything. I mean, you used to make a Zorga deck that was literally turbo drop. Here's your yeah. fucking turbo. It's literally the grade one I ran, but it doesn't have the on hit. It just does it, and you get the tutor. And if you Alchemagic this and you're using um, Headless Henhunter, you can basically make this free. Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. All right. Enough of those speculations. One last card to cover and to finish up the leaks before we go into the new section. We saw another mask. The episode dropped. Uh, we saw Youthberg versus Unica, the rematch. And of course, uh, the Unica chick. Uh, she, or technically, she's not called Unica anymore. It's, I'll just go with Astorea. Uh, Astorea's user uh, pulled out all the stops and showed her true colors. And in this case, this colors are green. Because we got Zeno Almagestar. Astorea equals Biko Mask. Beautiful looking card. Uh, she ditched her one horn, gained two, ditched the blue color, grabbed some green, and put on a mask. And uh, her abilities kind of followed suit, because we got, of course, the staple ability you need to have for mask units. Continuous, this card can only be written from a grade three with Astorea in its card name. So I need to stop calling her Unica and just call her Astorea. Mm -hmm. Nice. Anyway, act Vanguard once per turn cost remove a card with Astorea in its card name from among from this uh, uh, name from a uh, different card name from this unit from hand soul or drop. So basically like Zorga, 
Uh, choose mm -hmm. one of your opponent's rear guards, retire it, and this unit gets drive plus one until the end of turn. And then auto Vanguard, when this unit attacks, counter blast one, soul blast three, bind all of the critical triggers, soul blast it for this cost, choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and that unit gets power, uh, th and that unit, and this unit, Get power 5k until the end of turn for every two criticals in your bind zone. Holy shit. So you got multi-attack. You got multi-attack, you got triple drive, you got retire, you got power. Granted, it's not a lot of power, but it's power nonetheless. Uh, yes. Overall, this is shaping up to be a very dangerous deck because Unica before... While it's only had three attacks and it kind of struggled getting to the crit condition, but it also I will admit I played a little wrong. I should just see if I see triggers in the mulligan and just keep them. <laughs> uh, I will say she had big rear guards before. Just like the rear guards were just big and you barely mm -hmm. did anything to make them big. They just were. So having something that restains even just one of them and gives them more power. Holy shit. Not to mention giving herself a... I am missing the critical she used to get. I am missing that. If you're taking crits out of the deck and not giving her a critical, that's kind of sad. But you know what? I'll take a triple drive retire and whatever else happens. It's okay. You got triple drives. Just drive from the original and this. Just drive check over to her. <laughs> you're fine. Pretty much. Overall, this is shaping up to be a really cool card. We're going to see her again on the Tuesday stream with her other support cards. We can kind of imagine looking at Zorga. We're going to get the double rare dragon tree wretch, which is going to search the mask and probably make a marker. Mm -hmm. As well as we're going to see Unica's double rare support that's going to just, you know, excel the deck like the fucking multi attack did for Zorga. Yeah. Um, I think there was already a card shown in this episode that like looked at the top card of your deck. So it helped you stack the top card of your deck, either put it in a soul or put it back on top. I'll take it. Overall, I want to see where Unica goes and what other support she's going to get in this set to kind of make the consistency of getting triggers and binds on better. But with all mm -hmm. that being said, we're going to get the cards here and going into the new section. Uh, before that, if you're interested in buying any of the cards we just mentioned, go check out Triple Sleeve TCG. They got great deals on singles, clan splits, and even cases. So go check out their website. Link will be in the description. All right. So for new section, we're going to speed through it a little bit because an hour and a half episode is nightmare for editing and nightmare for listening. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're going to first talk about the strategy presentation, the next one. They're actually splitting it in two days because now they have a lot of stuff to talk about, about a lot of games, not only Y Schwartz, but also Vanguard and Shadow Horse and Rebirth and all that. So At least all the stuff I care about isn't one day. <laughs> exactly. So on day one, March 21st, they're going to be talking about nothing but white Schwartz. So white Schwartz and white Schwartz blue. So our stream and our focus will be on the second day, March 22nd, where they're going to be talking about Re Vanguard, re for you which not interest, but also Shadowverse Evolve. So that's going to mm -hmm. be very interesting to see what they talk about in the next three weeks. Is it in three weeks? It's about in three weeks, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's going to be cool. Moving forward, though, this is something that I didn't know I wanted to get this reaction. Uh, Japan is getting these promo triggers with the anime characters on them that have the exact same effects as the effect triggers of the corresponding nation with an added continuous ability just saying they have the exact same name as those triggers. But they have frame rare borders and the anime characters on them. Yeah, we see, uh, I've seen this already. No, oh, sad. <laughs> yeah, we talked about this in the group chat. But uh, yeah, like, cool. If you want to have your matching characters on, like the um, gift markers back in the day where you have the units on them, is basically the same thing. But you can have any triggers. I know, but it's kind of sad that this more than likely is only JP exclusive. We're not going to see this in the English side. <sighs> I know, because it's part of the deluxe tournament packs. Also, one more thing to point out. You and Toya are so good. They are, they're twice on cards. <laughs> uh, yeah. It tells you about the Dragon Empire canon representation in the anime. <laughs> yep. <laughs> or in the game in general. Pretty much. Now we're going to get to that. History Collection, the premium and V premium special series that they're making 
is shown more cards that are getting reprinted here's on screen and of course from the card we talked about the stride we knew we were getting the og gb2 alt mile we're also getting some other g guards some extra cool promos as well as some v reprints like for example giraffa 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 mm -hmm. giraffa so that's kind of cool I, lo I like seeing some of the vrs getting reprinted it's irony that we just cracked a bunch of boxes that then pulled a bunch of those there we go getting reprinted uh on screen right now in Japanese, if I can find the English version, I'll try to find it. But there is the whole card list of all the strides that are going to get reprinted. Uh, I think someone else might already have those somewhere. I'll see if I can put any type of link to kind of help this organize. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll do the best I could. Uh, um, just need to know that uh, Murakumo got Mukin Train back. And it's stupid. It is basically Hyuga 2.0. Yeah. Moving on. Talking about set 10, of course, we can't have just base rarities. We got to have those special spices in these things. Mm -hmm. And we're getting SECs. What that actually means, I can potentially look up. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, looking from the art on screen right now. Yeah, I don't know what it means. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a cool looking. It's basically SPs with a little, little extra foiling on top. And so, it looks sick. You, so when you play uh, Zorga Mask, now you can look at Masanori's beautiful bald head every time you play somebody. I know you say it like that, but trust me, man, people want this. People actually I know. want this. People love Masanori. Uh, talking about set 10, though, we also need to look forward into the future, into set 11. We got a little bit of information. And yes, we are back into the lore we're getting our little glitter supports, and apparently we're getting a new units of these uh, glitter supports. I think there's a post that I can read to help me with this. Yes, we're getting Dawn of the Fox Flame Tamayura, Soul Ori Oratorio Chaos, Poison in Paradise Eva, Impending Justice Thegria and Verdescent Lightning Flash Roa. Yes, Set 11 is introducing Glitter Support again, and from the looks of it, new Gray 3, potentially Gray, but not probably not Gray 4, versions of your favorite Glitter decks. I think they're going to treat these honestly like they did with Shaman King. And Mask. Where in mask, yeah, where basically they're gonna have alternate grade threes, but they can only be written on the original grade three. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Granted, I will say um, I want them to give one restriction, and that is only because of Fegria. Because if that's the yeah, case, yeah. Fegria can just jump right in there because of her. Yeah. Water. So exactly. it needs to be something like you can ride. You can only ride this card in during your ride phase on top of this uh, a unit with this name on it. Or this gives us a regalius piece that lets us do it. So Pretty every deck much. has an option. I can see that. So, but you might be thinking, well, if it's this a lore set, if this is, you know, a Craig Cross Epic glitter set, what is mm -hmm. the encounters? Because there's always encounters. So far, we only know about one. Well, two. Huh? We know about two technically, but we're well, the one we confirm know of is this one. Well, the one we confirm know of is a blonde ezel so gold paladin is coming into standard starting us with blonde ezel because you know Keter needed more encounters hey connor needed another reason to come back to standard <laughs> i mean look this is four encounter four encounter decks now for Keter. yeah well it only has three main lines to his regular decks three now man if it wasn't for set 10 it wouldn't if it only had Wait, two still four four now sorry they're oh, tied in. yeah we know what they have meant. Hexa Orb, Bastion, Youth Burke, and Surreon, or whatever his name is. So yeah. Four, yeah. And we're not technically counting Fegria because that's lore. Yes. Uh, yeah, so Ezel's coming back, and people are actually really excited. And then Alex is also speculating that he might be jump riding. Yes, because, you know, that was a whole gimmick of Ezel was jump riding. So, yeah, why not just have this jump ride and let you persona oh, the, ride? I want to hear this uh, little... What at our encounter? Oh, so we have confirmation that we'll be getting youth, uh, youthquake ride oh. lines. 
You're not, you're oh, it's not, not really an encounter, but it is an yeah, encounter. No, no, it's not an encounter. You misled me, but you are completely right. <laughs> we are getting earthquake ride lines from the manga in this set. I don't remember if they said they were getting multiple or one, but regardless, just getting youth cake into actual physical cards, in my opinion, is actually really amazing. I'll just hope that promo that I got sent in Japan gets an actual like rare common reprint in the set. Yep. All right. Last bit of news before actually that is the last bit of news. Uh, next week for the card reveals, we're going to be looking at if I can scroll to it. Scroll, 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 scroll. Damn it. Yeah, there it is. No, damn it. I am well prepared and do this professionally. Anyway, next Tuesday, we're going to be seeing a couple things. First, reporting results from the Chilo Cup Kyoro venue. Apparently, there's a venue and results. Yay. Mm -hmm. The more important part that we actually care about. Sorry to say it like that. Uh, what is Sophie's true ability? Repeating content of the episode 8 and showing syn uh, synopsis of episode 9 from the anime. And then, of course, like we talked about, revealing new cards that were shown in the anime for Mask from set 10, more than likely Unica and her support. Those kind so, of yeah. They'll I'm probably more, get the double rares. And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm more excited about the Thursday stream. I'm mm -hmm. a little bit more excited for the Thursday stream. It has more bigger implementation. Revealing yeah. a new Hexa Orb Sorceress that is Grade 3. As well as some strengthening cards for Sorceress. And a triple rare cycle card for Keter Sanctuary for Booster Set 10. So, just so you know, we're going to... I mean, <laughs> this basically means that Hex Orb is probably getting a mask. Yep. Because in the anime, they reference the Sorceress of Dawn for one of the characters. <gasps> Continue. So, more than likely, the dark-haired chick with the ponytail that was in, it revealed in the leaked image with Masanori is probably playing Hexa Orb. That'd be cool. And this is and this is probably going to be the mask for Hexa Orb as one of the Ketters. I just realized... Yes, you're completely right. Hexa Orb support, Hexa Orb mask. I'm all for it. I just realized something about the cycle mm -hmm. card. About the Brent yeah. Gate cycle card. I understand why its effect it is what it is. Mm hmm if you went second, right? Mm -hmm. And you are in Brinkgate and mm -hmm. you want to mask, you need mm -hmm. to play the order to search your mask if you don't have it in hand, right? Yeah. And then mask mm -hmm. by putting the order into order uh, into soul. Mm -hmm. Well, you've played an order for turn. How the fuck are you going to play set orders in Brinkgate that is all around playing set orders? Ah, uh, fair. Oh, you're going to find one and you're going to get another way to use it by using the Grade 2. So you're going to tell me that Stoya Chaos is going to allow me to play another additional order that turn? Potentially. Hey, man. Because you are, so. Hey, 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 hey. Now, you already got Alchemagic. I don't want to hear it. If I remember because correctly. So, that means that we're going to be able to Alchemagic twice in a turn. Pretty much. That's going to be dumb. You know it. Look, man. It's basically, let, essentially let's, playing let, four orders in a turn. Let's cross that bridge when we see the cycle card for Stokea, okay, all right? All right? All right. All right. Anyway, I, I'll, on a side note, I can also see all of them saying the same way. Just because if you play the order and then put in the Solon Ride Mask, you've basically mm -hmm. locked yourself out of playing any orders, period. I mm -hmm. know for Brankgate and Stokea, okay, those are important mechanics. But even Cater, Dragon Empire, and uh, Dark States have really good orders that they sometimes want to play to do stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can see them all giving you an extra order to play, period, just to play the game and play your deck. Mm. That being said, uh, we're going to end this episode here. <laughs> yeah, before we keep going even further down those yes. rabbit hole. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching and listening to episode 163 of V Time. If you like the episode, please like, share it with your friends. Comment down below what your favorite mask unit currently is out of the two, or what mask unit you hope is going to happen. And then, you know, I need to add a spiel because if you like what we do here, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell to get notified, or maybe join our membership. Be a member. I don't know. I'm going to add that spiel better next time. Get some, some exclusive content, maybe some exclusive videos. Exactly. But with all that being said, if you like it, uh, like us on Facebook, join us on Discord, uh, follow us on Twitter, watch us over here at YouTube, or maybe even listen to us on Apple Play or, or Podcasts or Spotify. 
I'll trust me, I'll fix that spiel. But with all of that <laughs> being said, I've been Philip. This is Alex. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Woo! Now I gotta admit. Oh. Uh, the thumbnail, yeah, but I also got to put somewhere like a little credit of all the names that are hero members because I tried reading all of them and then I'm never doing that again. I am not butchering those <laughs> names ever again. <laughs> Fair enough.